All right, guys. Um, I've seen a few uh, posts on the 3G page on Facebook, and uh, people are asking how to change a crank sensor. So uh, I've been having issues with mine. I found an old one, put it on, but I got a new one, so I'm gonna put that one on. So here's your crank sensor. Got a plug, and that goes on the actual crank. So, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Let me turn this light on. Now, my motor is a little bit more minimal than most, but it's the same thing. It's a 7472 is pretty much the same thing. Uh, so, we're gonna do this without taking the timing belt off. I'm gonna show you how. So first off, you gotta take all your accessory belts off. All I have is an alternator. So I took the alternator belt off over there. Okay, and then uh, I actually did this before the other night with the car on the ground, but I also don't have a, well, I have a front bumper, but bumper's off. My battery sits here. Y'all probably have way more room because you don't have a battery sitting here. All right. Uh, so, first things first, we need to break the crank pulley bolt. So, uh, that is a 22 millimeter socket. So I tried before, um, I tried to put a socket on and you can put a breaker bar and lean it on the ground and crank it, but I never had luck with that. So the way I'm going to do it is for this, I bought a DeWalt uh, Impact and it was one of my best investments with this car. So. Comes off pretty easy. Okay, we'll sit that up to the side. Okay, so here's the trick. You gotta get this pulley off without taking the gear off. Now, the trick to doing that is there's a pin in here. And you can see the gear. You can see the gear. See the gear where the belt goes on, right back there. Well, they come apart. So I took a pry bar. And you can pry it apart. Try to make sure you guys can see what's happening. All right. So we're gonna pull a little. Now, you can use a pry bar, but you just gotta watch this pin in here. Cause that pin right there, that pin is uh, connected to the gear. So if that pin starts coming out with this, then you need to get a punch and punch that pin in and yeah, make them separate and then get something and you know, jam it in there and separate the two, so. Make sure you guys can see again. This was some bolt flying around, whatever, all right. Okay, so there we go. And there is the crank sensor, right there. Uh, and to get to that, we just need to use a 10 millimeter socket. So, where are we at? 10 millimeter socket. Long socket or short with an extension. Okay. 
We're doing this with one hand. This thing literally just slides off the reluctor wheel. And that is it. And then you gotta pull it up from through here. So I'll do that now. This can be a little bit of a challenge. So let me see if I can mount this GoPro to my head and keep my headlight on. guys can see this all right crank sensor and it's unplugged so you just literally reach in and just feel by the way I don't have like any guards caps or anything on the timing belt so it's a lot easier if you take that stuff off if you're a daily driver I would not leave it on leave it off but this is strictly track car, so. And you'll kind of just feel your way out of here. There's like only one way that it'll go out. Or you can cut it. Again, I'm just maneuvering it around the water pump pulley. Almost got it. There is a little bit easier way to do this, which I'll show you now. So you can also take a 14 and I hope you guys can see this. There's the alternator bracket here and easier way to get this thing out is I wouldn't take this completely off because it's also your motor mount bracket but you get it nice and loose and those are plugs I just need to delete because I don't use them anymore they're usually zip tied but they're not
Okay, and then there is one more right here. Oh, uh, don't mind my, this is my alternator tensioner pulley. It's actually a timing belt pulley, but that's how I had to make it work, so. There we go. All right, and this is just gonna give you a little more, more room between the block and the alternator bracket. See the crank sensor right there. Okay, I'm gonna take it up just a little more. Bolts are pretty long, so. Now there's just a little more room to maneuver. There it is. All right, there's the old one. Now it's time to put in the new one. So the same way in. Um, usually I'll fish in this way or that way and it goes eh, so. Just maneuvering with my fingers.
you want it to come out this way, uh, right through here, because if you go around, it could definitely get caught on a uh, on a pulley. So there's a channel for it to go through. camera died then I had to go I'm in the middle of in the middle of cleaning these injectors so I had to turn that off yeah so anyways uh, in the meantime I did push it through I mean you literally just wiggle it until it goes through right in here so it's through there's the other side hanging down there and you get the top. So, where's the plug? Plug that in. Pew. All right. <clears throat> then, it's just a simple, go back the way you found it kind of thing. Make sure that the reluctor wheel, shit. Make sure that the reluctor wheel goes in between the mouth of this thing.
Okay. Uh, it's very important to make sure that the wires are back behind the lathe. Uh, you can still see some wire there from my first install. I let it get snagged in between here. So make sure you're clear, but don't let it go like around here. You want it to go up and in, into this. You want to tuck it tight. So I'm gonna move it a little out the way so that I can tighten this. Cause we're gonna tighten back those bolts for the bracket. Make sure this is pretty snug and pulled up, tucked in there, and then okay. This is my thing. Um, and I found this is the best way for me to keep anything from getting snagged. So just make sure this is out the way. I pull it behind the water pump here and. I get a zip tie. Super tight, but just tight enough where it ain't gonna move. Check, it's tight, it's not touching the belt, it's not able to touch a belt. tight and out the way and that's it um now i'm gonna go and put my alternator back on and um i mean i'll keep it rolling y'all can watch me put how my alternators are in so let's roll oh and then we put the my bad not finished all the way there because we still gotta put the Stand. So you just line the hole up.
Now for the alternator. Okay. The only reason my alternator is running like this is because I have a 74 swap. And this is the only way I can make it work. This has to come out. So, easiest way I found to do this, I'm putting y'all on. I'm putting the jack under the alternator so that it will just jack it up and I can get it right here.
outside. And that's it, y'all. That is the crane sensor change.